I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the review for In the Earth. Intriguing start inspired by lockdown. I like this actor, he's got a gentle vibe, like a children's TV presenter. It was also good to see this actor who was in TV's EastEnders years ago. With this film, In the Earth, there's an idea originally used in Wolf Creek and there's also a moment which reminded me of Michael Mann's Manhunter. So yeah, a wonderful, inspiring mix. There's a couple of other interesting ingredients in this work. The film's music vibe initially creates a foreboding atmosphere. I really like the posters, and the end credits are really cool. The most creative I've seen in a while. The end credits is actually my favourite moment. You see, after 48 minutes, I lost interest. I didn't care about what happens to the characters in the forest. I'm telling you, the plot gets really stupid. The repetitive scenes about a foot injury become laughable. Here's an important point to make. If you're making a horror film, never cast actors that are known for comedy. The only time when it has worked is with Robin Williams in the brilliant one-hour photo. In the Earth is not a proper horror film. It's got moments that are gory, but here's the thing. In the Earth comes across to me as a cheap, badly directed Doctor Who episode for teenagers. The first 36 minutes is fine, it's on the right track. But if you want to see a film directed by Ben Wheatley that deserves your time, watch Kill List. If you want to see a creepy film set in a forest, revisit the original The Blair Witch Project. And if you want an example of a serious horrific movie that you'll never forget, watch the original Martyrs.